Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is problem solving and uh, about areas of rectangles. This is uh, lesson 11.7 in our textbook, and don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let's do that real quick, you guys. If we go to MrMathBlog.com, it'll come to a site that looks like this. And then uh, across the top right here are all the classes that I teach. And then right here is your class, third grade class. So if we click that, it'll take us down to third grade. And we've done all of these lessons already before. So this is lesson 11.7. It's going to be placed right here as soon as we get done with this lesson. Okay. All right. So let's get started here. Here's our common core strand for our teachers. And so our essential question is, how can we use the strategy find a pattern to solve area problems? Okay, so these are areas of rectangles. All right, so Bob wants to build some sheds. Here are some plans that he drew for the buildings. He wants to know how the areas of the buildings are related. So how will the areas of uh, shed A, here's shed A right here, so the length is 3 and the width is 4. Here's shed B right here, the length is still 3 and the width is 8. How will the areas of shed A and shed B uh, change? And how about uh, shed C and shed D? How will these two areas change? Here the length is 6 and the width is 4. Here the length is 6 and the width is 8 right here. Okay, so let's answer a series of some questions here. So, so what do we need to find? Well, we need to find how the areas uh, will change from shed A to B and also from, uh, and this is always here in the question right here, also from uh, shed C to shed D right there there okay and then so what information are we going to use we're going to use um, uh, the blank and blank of each shed to find its area okay so we've done area of rectangles we do uh, length times width so we're going to use the length and the width of each shed to find the area right there okay all right and then, uh, so how will we use this information? Well, we can record the areas in a table. Then we'll look for a pattern to see how uh, the area will change. All right, so here's a table right here. Okay, and the table is um, uh, we're going to fill in the lengths and the widths. Well, on, on shed A and shed B, uh, the length is 3, and this length is 3 also, okay? So the width of shed A right here, here's the width. The width is 4 right here. And uh, the width of uh, this one is 8 right here. Okay, so the area, remember, we just do length times width. So then this is going to be 3 times 4. And remember, if we're talking about area, it's always in square units. So this one's going to be 12 squ uh, feet squared. So since we're in feet, the units are feet, so it's 12 feet squared. Okay, how about this one? This one's going to be 3 times 8. Do you remember what 3 times 8 is? It's 24. And don't forget, it's feet squared right there, okay? Okay, on this one here, they gave us the width. The width of this one is 4, and the width of this one is 8. So the lengths, the lengths on these guys are both 6 right there, okay? 6 feet. And then so 6 feet times 4 feet is 24 feet squared. And then again, 6 feet times 8 feet. Do you guys remember what 6 times 8 is? It's 48, okay? We talked about all kinds of ways to multiply with uh, those. Uh, all right, so um, so here's the question. So this was the question that uh, they asked in the problem. How will the areas of shed A and shed B change, and how will the areas of uh, C and D change? Okay, so here's the area of shed A is 12. Here's the area of shed B. Here's the area of uh, C, and here it is of D right here, okay? And then so notice how the widths changed. It got doubled right here, in the, and over here the width changed. It went from 4 to 8. It doubled also. So the widths changed when the lengths were the same. Here the lengths were 6 and 6, and here the lengths were 3 and 3. So do you see a pattern right here? That's our strategy here is to find a pattern. So here the lengths are the same, and the widths are doubled. So the area changed from, okay, so this area changed from 12 to 24 right there. And then this area changed from 24 to 48, okay? Do you see the relationship? Okay, so when the widths doubled right here, what happened to the areas? The areas also doubled right there because, because uh, 12 times 2 is 24. Over here, 24 times 2 is 48. So when the lengths, I'm reading right here, so when the lengths and the... Uh, uh, and are the same and the widths are doubled, then the area is going to be doubled. Da -da -da. Okay, and that's, that's what we're finding out right here. When we, when we double the widths, 
uh, then the area gets doubled, okay? All right, let's try another one here, you guys. So how are the areas of these sheds related, okay? How will the area of shed E uh, and shed F change? And how about G and H right here, okay? So we're not going to answer all the questions. We're just going to build a table right here, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and plug in the length and the width of shed E, okay? So shed E, the length is 5 and the width is 8 right here, okay? So... 5 and 8, and then 5 times 8 is 40, so 40 feet square. Do you remember 5 times 8? Remember how to count uh, by 5s? 5, 10, 15, 20, I'm using my fingers. 25, 30, 35, 40, so I got 8 fingers, so it's 40 right there. Okay, and then shed F right here, the length is 5 and the width is 4. Okay, so here, look, you guys, uh, and then 5 times 4 is 20. Look, you guys, we went from, a, the, the lengths are still the same right here, but the width went from 8 to 4 it got cut in half look at the area the area gets cut in half also 40 divided by 2 or half of 40 is 20 let's do let's see if that happens with uh, shed G right here so so the length is 10 and the width is 8 right here okay and so the area is going to get us 80 10 times multiplying by 10 is easy just add a zero and then here the length is 10 and the width is 4 so it's half so 10 times 4, what's 10 times 4? It's 40. Look, it's half right there. So when the width gets cut in half, so does the area right there, okay? So let's answer it. Let's just answer these here. So so here the lengths are the same and the widths are half. And the area uh, changed from, this area went from 40 to 20 right there, okay? And this area went from 80 to 40 when we halved uh, those uh, widths right there. So when the lengths are the same and the widths are cut in half, then the areas will be also cut in half right there, okay? I hope that made sense, you guys, and take care.